In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Aweber landing page creator to sell a product. You do not need a website for this. I'm going to first show you how to create a landing page to sell your product on, no website needed. And then I'm going to show you how to connect that landing page to Stripe so that you can start accepting payments. And then I'll show you how to add subscribers to your email list. Step one, log into your Aweber account or sign up for an Aweber account. So first thing first, go to aweber.com and log into your account or create an account. If you don't have an account with Aweber, check out the link that we left you in the description section below. There might be a promotion on Aweber right now and I don't want you to miss out on it. So just check out the link below. Once you're logged into your account, go to pages and forms on the left hand side and click on landing pages. Once you click on that, you'll see a list of landing pages that you have created in the past. If you're new, then you won't have any landing pages. You would just go to create a landing page and just click on it. So you will um, be given a page that has got multiple templates that you can use for your landing page. You can start one from scratch and build on it or you can use any of these ready templates that you can just pick and choose from. You've got one for a coaching offer, you've got one for small business, um, showcase gallery, online course offer, ebook, and you know, e-commerce, thank you page, e-commerce offer. So as you can see, you have a lot of templates to choose from that Aweber gives you. If you want a link to a free high converting template, then check out the link that I left you below in the description section. So sign up and then you will get a link to a free high converting template. That way you don't have to create it from scratch. You can just start from where we left off with the uh, template and you can change the product name, change the price and, and other different things so that you can get started to sell your own product. So now I'm gonna show you how to work with a Weber's landing page. In this case, I'm going to use a high converting template that we have created ourselves here at eKid Hub. But the process, whether you're starting from scratch or you're adding on to a template, it should be the same. So once you are on a Weber landing page editor, you will essentially have all the elements that you can add to your landing page on the left. So you can see text, image, video, button, form, social media sharing, smart content, divider, pop-up, e-commerce, and different rows. They will all be on the left side and all you gotta do is just grab it and drop it and then put your text, basically. And if you don't need it, you just delete it. So in this case, I'm not going to add anything to this landing page, the high converting sample that you can have access to if you use the link below. So all you got to do in this case is just change the title to the title of your presentation, webinar, course or event and change the information below as well as this image to an image about your course or your event. And to remove image, you can just go to the right hand side here. You choose to remove an image or import an image from image gallery in case you want to change that. And here you will be allowed to use, you know, stock images or your own images. You can upload one so you can just, just do that. Or you can connect your Aweber to Canva and create an image on Canva. We're not gonna cover that in this video. And you can also have your image link out to your website in case you have a website, or in this case, you just leave it the way it is. Uh, all text, you just put in here the name of your product. Um, it's good for keyword if it's keyword oriented. Let's say if you're um, doing a course on goal setting, then maybe name this a goal, uh, goal setting. And here you can change the design, the sizing, you can change the size of the image, you can have it set on auto. I like auto with, you know, you let 
the algorithm decide that for you and here if you want to play around with spaces so it's simple to add or remove an image you just change this information to the information that pertains to your course so attention who are you talking to and you obviously change all of this text as well and you have a section on this landing page that talks about the insider program is different than anything you've seen before and add the reasons why your program is different here is how I approached it instead and then you tell them how you approach things different make sure you add valuable information for your potential customers so that they know what you're actually selling and then you have a section of if we haven't met and here you know you introduce yourself add a picture of yourself if you want to change it just click on the picture and just go to image gallery and then change it uh, all text add your name give a little introduction about yourself and then you know a little bit more information about the course or the event that you're selling or the product and here you let them know that it's um, a limited time offer um, by telling them about any bonuses if you have anything to add and then you change the information to something that pertains to your course and here's some feedback from some of my longtime students and customers that's if you're if you have a list of customers or a list of students that have given you feedback throughout time you can use that information here if you don't have anything if you if you're just starting off and you're new then you don't need to include this section here frequently asked questions about the course that you may have had from former students or that people keep on submitting throughout your offer if you will or throughout your um, uh, promotion period you can always add to this section and all, all you got to do to add is just basically copy paste and then edit the text and give an answer to it so it's simple when you use this template and then you have if that sounds good let's get you booked in one of the available spots that is if you're selling appointments you can include more information here reserve your spot this section you add relevant information in this section I'm going to show you how to add a product to your landing page so whether you're starting with our template or you're starting from scratch the process should be the same if you're starting from scratch then just go down to the e-commerce section here grab it and then drop it where you want to drop it and then now on the right hand side you have a unique section that's just popped up it's about e-commerce here you can add a product, add a form, add a receipt. If you have created a product, you can select from the products that you've created, or you can also add a product from scratch. You um, can decide the price here, and then the tag automations here. Basically this section makes sure that the people that purchase your product get tagged with a specific tag to trigger a campaign. That's if you wish to send them a series of emails. So for here, I'm going to delete this because I already have one set up. This is what I, where you set up the product for the template, you just click on register. This is the e-commerce button and then you, you come here to the side. And then here, let's just add a product, just to show you how to add a product. I'm gonna call this product test and um, here you can choose the type of payments one time subscription plan subscription or a, a plan so one time is a one time payment subscription as you can see here you get to decide the frequency weekly monthly quarterly or yearly and the plan is is also the same you get to decide how many payments and the frequency and the price but to keep things simple I'm going to, you know, choose this section here, payment type, and I'm gonna 
set the product for $20. I'm gonna add the product, test three. So now as, as you can see here, product section, make sure this one, you specify the product. In this case, it is test three. So we just put it there. The price is $20. This is for the uh, tag automation. So to explain this, if a, a buyer purchased this product, test three, then you get to assign a tag to that customer or to whoever purchased this product, in this case, test three. So to understand the logic behind the tags and the automations, so this is to basically tell Aweber that this person bought this product, test three, so that later on you can trigger a campaign, which is a series of emails that will be sent to this person that purchased this product that is tagged with tag three just to organize the campaign and the email email sent process and here you get to decide if the person uh, bought a different product and you want to stop them to get emails for that product you might have a tag for it um, in this case I'm gonna call it previous previous product but here you use whatever tags tag you used for the previous product. So if, if the previous product was test one or test two or goal setting, then you put that tag here basically to tell a Weber that when a person purchases this product, tag them with test three so that we can trigger test three campaigns that the emails that are designed to be sent to test the people that are tagged with test three and then remove these tags, the previous product from the same person so that they don't get emails from product one and product two, for example, in this case, test three. So if they bought, let's say product test two in a part of a funnel, then in this case, they won't be getting test two emails anymore. So I'm just gonna put it here just for illustration. So let's say previously they bought product test two, as you can see here, the previous product that they bought, and they've been getting emails about product test three in a funnel to upsell them to test, th uh, test three. Now, if they truly purchase test three, Aweber will tag them by this tag, test three, and it will remove test two from them. So if you have any campaign that, that gets triggered by test two tag, now this customer won't be receiving it because they will remove him from email campaign. I will get more into campaigns later in a separate video, but this is basically the, the uh, logical process behind it. Okay, now we have added the product, the price and the automation. Now let's check the order form. The order form, when you create a landing page, it will create the order form for you. Um, the e-commerce button here will create it for you. So this order form will ask for their name, for email address, and then the card information. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything on this section. Um, here you can decide, you know, the, the design, the elements of how you want your order form to look like. And you can choose if, if you're not on the free option, you can choose to untag this or leave it. It will show that it this page is powered by a Weber. I like to leave it sometimes because it adds a little bit more of credibility, especially if you're starting, you want to show them that you're using something reputable. And then this is the receipt section. You can choose to you know, design the receipt. This is the receipt that comes with, with the template. You can choose to have it the way it is. Obviously it will put the date automatically for you. This is just um, a template for illustration and it will include the product name and then the price. Or you can, you know, direct customers to your website to a more detailed receipt page that you've created 
if you don't have a website, this is the option that you go for, show receipt. And then you just save it. Now you have a complete landing page that is ready to be published. And you can just go here and publish. As you can see now it's published and then unpublish changes. These are the changes that haven't been published yet. So if we go publish, it will give you the link to your page. And now your page is published. You can uh, visit the link. And this is the landing page. Obviously, you would have changed this information here to um, give more details about your course. You change this image to reflect your course, the banner of your course, and then you change all of this information as we talked about and whatever information that, that you have in the section about me. And then this is where they would come and you know, register or buy a product. Once they click on it, they get the order form automatically you know, they type their name, email address, and then add their card information here. And once they pay, that's it, they've been registered. They will get the receipt and you will get the, the information and they will be automatically linked to the email list that you set up, which is the part that I will cover in the next section. Okay, so now I'm going to show you something really important. Um, in order to make sure that the customers that sign up or purchase something from the landing page, go to the right customer list. We go to pages and forms, landing pages, and then the landing page that you would have downloaded from us or the ones that you, you would have created will appear on this page. And once they appear, you just go to the list that you wanna make sure it is connected with the right email list and just click on the three dots here and then go to copy to list and then just click on your list. So in this part, I'm going to show you how to connect your Aweber landing page with Stripe so that you can accept payments. So first you need to log into your Aweber account. And then once you do that on the left-hand side, go down to integrations, click on integrations. When you do that, click on available integrations and then go down to Stripe for landing pages, accept e-commerce payments on Aweber landing pages with Stripe. So you click here. Here you can read about the things that setting up Stripe with your Aweber landing page would help you to do. You can sell your eBooks or PDF, sell access to your awesome webinar or video series, sell entry into membership program. Yeah, so you can see it's very useful. So in order to keep it short, I'll show you how to connect it. You just click on connect and then you just log into your Stripe account and then click continue. So in this video, we have demonstrated how to create a landing page and how to add different elements and products to the landing page. We have also demonstrated how to connect your landing page to Stripe so that you can accept payments. And we have showed you how to connect your landing page to your email list so that the subscribers, people, when they purchase your product, they get automatically subscribed to an email list. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use campaign and activate campaigns when a tag gets triggered when somebody purchases a product. So we have worked and demonstrated on a template that we created on our, uh, on our end, and it's a high performing template. Make sure you get it. And the link to that template is in the description section below. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.